we're going to be diagnosing a high pressure oil pump issue. Um, yeah, apparently it doesn't start when it's hot. And then also though, too, as you've seen in the video in the beginning, the desired versus actual, the actual is way lower than the desired. So wide open throttle, it makes, they make about, I think like 3,600 to 3,900, somewhere in there. So this one's only making about 700. I'm gonna hook it up to air anyways, just to check, it's an 03. So it's a little bit harder because the ICP is in the back where the high pressure oil pump cover is, but we're still gonna hook up the uh, the air to it just 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 in case, just, just for fun. But if I had a bet, it's definitely a pump. We've got so, an ICP two low code. And when we're driving, obviously the high pressure oil pump, it's only making 700 and something. And then on desired, it's wanting to make 3,600. So to me, this kind of tells me that his high pressure oil pump is bad. This truck's an 03, so it's got the 0304 style pump. I bet you either that little ball valve, well, sometimes that, that little ball that sits on the side of the 0304 pumps, when that's gone, the low pressure oil light will kind of bounce. This truck isn't doing it, but I'm pretty positive that that seal in the back, it's probably blown out. So I'm gonna put... Okay, so first things first, we're gonna, we're gonna close the IPR. I'm using my Solus, so we're gonna do that. Man the duty cycle all the way up to 85. And then we're gonna listen for leaks. See what we hear. Oh, I got the turbo out. Lucky for me, um, I'm gonna be doing an oil cooler and EGR cooler and some other things on this truck. So normally when the turbo is on, it is a little bit of a pain on the O3s. So in 04, the following year, they put the ICP on the valve cover, which it's way easier to hook the hose to. So normally it'd be right there on 04 and up, but since we're working with an 03, it's on the high pressure oil pump cover. And so I got the hose connected to my compressed air tank, which the compressed air tank works way better than just regular shop compressor air because this thing can actually go up to I usually turn it up to about like five, 600, and then I can really hear where the leak is coming from. So, um, yeah, we'll turn the air on and see what we can hear. Turn this thing up. So I'm gonna turn it up to about four, five hundred, seven. So my suspicion is the high pressure oil pump, um, the high pressure oil pump itself probably leaking from that seal on the back where the gear is. As soon as I, as soon as I pull it out, I'll show you guys. Um, but that's, that's my suspicions from the get go. All right. Well, we're going to start breaking this thing down and, uh, we're going to be doing an oil cooler, EGR cooler, um, mainly because we're doing the pump so we're already there it's never had an oil cooler done it's never had egr cooler done for the most part it's pretty much stock it needs some glow plugs it kind of just needs some refreshing and so the customer he just said well while we're there can we do an oil cooler and egr cooler would it be worth it and i said yeah of course uh, but once i have everything apart i'll show you guys the pump show you where it failed and then um but yeah We'll, we'll just uh, we'll just go from there. And this guy's super cool, super patient, um, and he just he just wants it done right. So we're gonna break everything down, try and get everything apart tonight, and then tomorrow clean everything. And then once we get all the parts, put it back together. All right. Well.
Got the intake manifold off. And the thing I hate about the O3s is this horseshoe right here. So we're actually, we're gonna cut it right here and right here and then weld like a plate right here and then right here. So if this issue ever comes, you know, if it ever happens again, and say if the high pressure oil pump goes bad, which it shouldn't realistically. I mean, the pumps usually last. I mean, if it's a good pump, we're gonna be using a Bosch pump. So if it, if, if it does happen in the future, say for some weird reason, all we got to do is pull the turbo, which is nice. So we would have to pull this anyways, regardless if we were going to do, if we weren't doing an oil cooler and all that stuff because of that horseshoe right there. So we're going to cut that thing out of there and then kind of make it like the four and up trucks. So it'll be a lot easier in the future to, uh, you know, either do IPR or ICP as well. Well, we're burning the midnight oil again. Um, but yeah, we got the, uh, we got the, the intake manifold all out. We're going to put some tape over this and then two, whenever you guys pull the intake manifold, make sure you blow, you know, all through here in, in these channels. Cause you definitely don't want, you know, something like this to fall down inside the intake manifold. Cause that would not be good. But, uh, anyway, so I always check. I always check in in there and I, I kind of like will shine my flashlight and just blow it all out but um yeah we're gonna finish up we're gonna pull out the oil cooler and we're gonna pull out the high pressure oil pump cover and then pull out the pump and then we will be able to wash all the parts tomorrow and then we can go to bed but I also wanted to show you guys this tool real quick. So I was controlling the IPR earlier with the snap-on Solus. I've had that. It's an older snap-on Solus. Babe, you're disturbing me. Now I have to start over again. <laughs> I was on a good roll. That was like the fourth take. Anyways, like I was saying... <laughs> Yeah, this IPR tool right here is a very cheap alternative, so you don't have to buy a scan tool. So earlier I was using my Snap-on Solus, which I have an older Snap-on Solus. It works good. Um, I'm pretty sure you can control the IPR with the 4Scan too. I've actually never tried it, but I, I believe you can. Um, so pretty much it just has a um, like a pigtail right here that you would plug into the IPR. So you got to unplug the IPR, which it's, it's kind of a little harder to get to. Um, or it's kind of just one more step when you're testing like the high pressure oil pump system. Um, and then, yeah, you just plug it into the battery right here. So I've had this tool for a while. I think I bought it off of one of the Mako trucks, but I've used it a couple different times and it, and it works good. So it's a great alternative to not having to buy a scan tool. So I just want to show you guys that real quick too. So before we go to bed here, I just wanted to show you guys the high pressure oil pump. Finally got it out and that seal, that seal is completely blown out. And that was my suspicion. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get a really good angle on it. Not really, but try to zoom in here kind of right here where my screwdriver is. See this seal right here? It was, com it's just completely blown out. So it's, it was just losing all kinds of oil pressure and that's why the desired wasn't meeting up with the actual, or the actual wasn't meeting up with the desired actually. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, yep, that was my suspicion and uh, I was right. So tomorrow we're gonna pick up the new high pressure oil pump and then yeah, probably wash all the parts, everything tomorrow. And then within the next couple days, we're going to um, put everything back together. But yeah, these 0304 pumps, um, they tend to go out a lot more than the 05 to 07 pumps. The 05 to 07 pumps have their issues too with like the T-fitting and all that stuff. But 
these pumps tend to just be uh, they just they just tend to go go out I feel like a little bit more but also they are older so the 0304 trucks I mean they are over 20 years old now. well so we got some of the parts together for the truck we got a reman Bosch pump for it they're all reman now at this point we got a new Alliant Power oil cooler. I'd say as far as the factory style oil coolers go, the Alliant Power ones are pretty much the best you can get at this point. I used to always get Ford ones, but apparently Dorman now makes their oil coolers. If you've noticed, they switched to the black gaskets. Apparently if you get new gaskets, the coolers themselves are fine, but I figure why waste the time? Just gonna get an Alliant one. Those are the ones we use at work. We have really good luck with them. So we got that and then we got the EGR um, gasket kit from Alliant Power also. And then we're still waiting on the PPR EGR cooler to come in. So, and then we just gotta um, weld the intake manifold. So I cut the, the horseshoe off the intake manifold. As soon as that's welded up, I'll show you guys. But tonight we're gonna be putting on the oil cooler, there's the oil cooler cover. There's a new oil cooler sitting in the box from Alliant Power. I got the cover and all the stuff painted. There's a high pressure oil pump, got that all painted. And then uh, here's the, the new pump. There's the part number on the pump. Um, I've used these pumps quite a bit and have had really good luck with them. So that's, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. I'm gonna put the cooler together right now um, and then we're gonna be putting it back in the truck. Yeah, here's a new cooler by the way too. They should all just come this way. All the gaskets are super nice, high quality. The screen, super nice. I wish they all just came like this. We got the oil cooler and the pump in there now. I got a new engine oil pressure sensor. I always like to put a new engine oil pressure sensor just because they break and then they'll spew oil everywhere. If you ever had one of these break, it's a freaking mess. So we got a new one of those and then we got the pump all in there nice and tidy. So now we just got to do the high pressure oil pump cover. And then once we get the EGR cooler tomorrow and then weld up the intake manifold, we'll throw that on and basically put the whole truck back together. And yep, that'll be for tomorrow. Okay, so before we put the intake manifold back on, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, we got it all nice and cut. My brother, my my brother welded it for me. So now it's kind of like a 04 and up style intake manifold. That's the only thing I don't really like about the 03s is where it has that horseshoe. So you have to pull the whole intake manifold to get to the high pressure oil pump cover. So now if we ever have an issue, which we shouldn't, for quite a while, all you'd have to do is pull the turbo to get to it, which is really nice. And we also got our PPE EGR cooler on there. So now all we pretty much have to do is, is throw it on the truck and, and get everything back together. So we're gonna do that now. Well, the intake manifold's all on there. Look at how much more room there is. So much more room. I love that. Who's that? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, well, we gotta go to O'Reilly's because we're a little bit low on coolant. So he's running the G05, the ZRX G05 coolant. So we're gonna go pick some of that up and got my, my co-pilot with me. So he's coming with me and we're gonna take the O3. How you doing? This is what we're looking for. Yeah. You like you like shopping around in O'Reilly's? Yeah. <laughs> That's the cool one I run right there. If 
final charge. Okay, so we got the truck running. There's no leaks, nothing. So we're gonna go, we'll go on a test drive and we'll, we'll uh, see what ICP, ICP desired is. And yeah, check codes, all that stuff, but it's, it's uh, running pretty solid so far. So I'm happy about that. Check it out. Everything looks pretty good underneath the hood. Cool level's pretty good. So of course there's a glare right where I want to look, but there's ICP and ICP desired bottom left corner. So I'll see if I can focus on that. And if you remember it was only making 700 before, so I think we're good now. It's wide open throttle right there, 36, 36. Perfect. That's, uh, that's what we want to see right there. So as far as codes go, we're pretty good. The only code that it does have is a EGR sensor circuit low code, which that was there before I told him he might have to get a EGR valve. But other than that, we are pretty good. No more ICP low code. He's got one ABS code for like a wheel speed sensor. But other than that, I think, I think we're pretty good to go. Okay, well, there you have it. That's how you diagnose an 0304 HPOP. That's how you install an HPOP on an 0304 truck. Um, it's not too much different than an 05, but uh, I know I didn't go through everything kind of uh, step by step and do the whole entire process, but I showed a good amount. If you guys have any questions, of course, you can message me on Facebook, Instagram. I'll try to get back to you. I'll, I can try to send you pictures or something maybe. But uh, yeah, the truck's running solid. I'm just gonna um, be topping off fluids, probably drive it to work, make sure everything's perfect, oil cooler temps, all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, uh, ICP is meeting up with the desired and that's what's most important. And that was the main problem. So I think we're good there. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching. Well, his car's just gonna sit on that and he's not gonna be able to pull them he might have to go around. He, like, <laughs> we did meet in high school. Uh-oh. Oh. Come on. Yeah! Go! Woo! Go. Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't run over the... Oh, the strap. Oh, wow. Brakes! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh.